This is Sam. Sam is an engineer who wants to optimize the performance of a positioning solution, which uses power and delay from surrounding Wi-Fi access points to determine position of the device. He uses the typical tools like simulations and test equipment. But what Sam really needs to validate is how this solution will perform in a real-world environment. His trouble with testing in the real world is that it is costly and time-consuming. It is a highly inefficient use of resources. Sometimes the environments you want to test is not accessible. Worst of all, field testing is notoriously unreliable. So once he goes through the time, frustration and cost of performing a field test, it can be next to impossible for Sam to repeat or revalidate those results. But thankfully, Sam knows about Azimuth systems and their field to lab solution. Azimuth Systems has been the leader in RF channel emulation for the past 10 years. Azimuth line of Wi-Fi and cellular channel emulators and field to lab software is the most well recognized and awarded solution available for real world performance testing in the lab. How does it work? It's simple. The Azimuth RF channel emulator known as an ACE, replaces and manages the radio links between the device and access point. The ACE now has full control over the radio channel properties like power, delay, interferences, reflections and more. The ACE supports MIMO and can even support multiple access points or multiple devices. But let's go back to Sam and his need to test in a real-world environment. Azimuth Field to Lab is designed to allow real-world RF conditions captured through scanners or device logs to be easily and accurately replayed in the lab. Whether it's driving through a city or walking through an office building or sports arena, these environments with multiple access points and highly dynamic power, velocity and noise can be recreated in the Azimuth solution. Field to Lab is a revolution to field testing. Collect the RF once and replay it many times. Not only is Field to Lab fast, but it's highly accurate and customizable. You retain full control over every RF characteristic of each link, so you can test corner cases and custom scenarios that might be difficult to capture in the field. But best of all, Field to Lab is 100% repeatable. Field to Lab can replay the exact same scenario as many times as needed, so that issues can be quickly identified, replicated, and fixes confidently validated. Azimuth Field to Lab has been an integral part of testing programs for leading cellular OEM, infrastructure, and chipset developers. We're happy to announce that new for 2015, Field to Lab has been extended to provide turnkey support for Wi-Fi positioning applications. Hey, welcome to this tutorial. My name is Xavier. I'm an engineer working for Azimuth. In this video, I will show you how to use our Field to Lab solution. First, I will collect some logs at my office and at a mall. Then, I will show you the testbed and how to replay this environment in our lab. Here we are in an office building. This is a pretty typical test scenario where several routers will distribute the Wi-Fi signal. As basic as this test scenario may seem, though, it is sometimes very hard to replicate twice the exact same radio frequency environment. And this is the beauty of Azimuth Field to Lab. You just need to collect the logs once, and you will be able to play this information back in the lab as many times as you want 
in a fully repeatable fashion. Here, my device under tests will read the power and the round trip time from all the surrounding routers simultaneously. Of course, as I move, those values change and are recorded. Then the Azimuth software will parse those information and put it in the correct format to be played back in the lab. There's no limits as far as how long this log can be. Here, for the validation, let me collect a short sample. So for our second demonstration, we are now in a mall. Our DUT, our device under tests, will see the surrounding Wi-Fi signal as well as the seller signal. Let me move on to the testing now. These types of testing can be very critical and very hard to reproduce. But with our azimuth solution, you collect the log once and then replicate them as many times as you want. As you remember, in the field, we had our routers distributing the Wi-Fi signal over the air interface all the way to my device. Here, in the lab, we were going to replicate the exact same configuration. As you can see, we have our routers, then the azimuth channel emulator for the air interface, and then this radio proof enclosure where I'm going to put this device. The routers transmit the Wi-Fi signal, exactly like in the field. Then the channel emulator will receive this signal and apply on every individual link the same round trip time and power we saw in the field previously. The output is then combined and sent to the device. This way, the device under tests will experience the exact same RF as what we saw in the field. Now, let me show you the playback software. We are now in Director 2, the software that controls the Azimuth channel emulator. Let's import the field playback from before this field log office file. When you import it, a window will pop up. It's called Playback File Settings. Hit OK. As you can see, on the right side of the GUI, you will see four links that represent the four links from the router to the output. In the Play tab, you will see different columns representing all the data we collected. Time, power from the different routers. And if you go to the right side, you will also see that it contains what we call the propagation delay, which is nothing else than the round trip time from each individual router. In the visualization tab, you can find the power pattern from each router that is going to be played back by this software. Let's move to the play tab and just hit play now. Now the emulation is running 
after a few seconds, replicating the exact same RF as seen in the field. Finally, let's do a validation. Now that the emulation is playing, the channel emulator is dynamically reading the power values and round trip time values from the file that we imported. What happens is that the channel emulator is then dynamically applying the correct attenuation and round trip time on each individual link. Here, we are only using four routers. We can go up to 16 routers. The best way to validate that the power pattern matches is to look at the input log. Here, in this graph, you can see the downlink power received at the device under test during the field testing. When we collected the log, the device was reading power from many routers. Here, we selected the top four routers. You can see, for instance, that the power coming from router 3 is higher than the power coming from the other routers. In AZ Player, you can easily visualize the power at the input of the channel emitter or at the output. You just need to go to the Power Meters tab. The Power Meters tab will report the power values read at every port of the channel emitter, input and output. Here, port A1, A2, A3 and A4 will read the power coming from router 1, 2, 3 and 4. At the output of the channel animator, you will see the downlink signal going to the UE. A comparison side by side shows you that the right RF pattern is applied. You will also be able to see that the round trip time from the field and the round trip time read by our device in the lab are matching.